The FTEC Weather and Wind Instrument streams real-time weather from the internet using your device's internet connection. The basic page, which you see here, is free for, for everyone to use. You get temperature, cloud information, visibility, pressure, and wind information. So at the bottom there, you've got the direction and speed. So in this case, in this day and time, near San Francisco, it's pretty calm, zero knots. Um, the arrow on the left-hand side uh, shows you wind relative to your current heading. So um, the current head, if we look at the map here, where we are, um, and, and zoom in. Um, so zero to three degrees is the, is the wind, not a lot of it, um, but you can see here that's relative to our current heading. Um, as I said, this is free for everyone to use. The settings page allows you to change things like the uh, the the units you want to see the wind in, so miles per hour, meters per second, kilometers an hour. Uh, you can set the temperature units and the pressure units as well. Um, you can hit this button here to refresh the weather data. Um, also, now you can press it on this page here. So on the bottom right hand side here, you can press this uh, multifunction button and that will refresh and you can see the time and the location updating at the top. So this observation was taken from Los Altos Hills on December the 17th, 2023 at 25 minutes past five. Um, the paid features of the instrument are using the other three multifunction buttons. So we've got a virtual weather radar. Um, so this is brand new in this instrument. Um, this will show you the precipitation as streamed live from the internet. Um, you, so you can see here there's a fair bit of rain around San Francisco at the moment. Um, you can zoom out, so you've got two range rings. So you can see this in this instance on the maximum zoom, the range ring is 130 nautical miles. It does change depending on the direction because it takes into account and dynamically uh, calculates that based on your heading. Uh, and the inner range ring will be 50% of the outer range ring. Um, so uh, as we zoom in, so you can see here, um, eight nautical miles, so that inner range ring will be four. Um, you can get real-time TAF, so if we hit the TAF button here, so you can see we've got the TAF uh, Kilo, uh, Kilo Sierra Juliet Charlie, uh, 1711, uh, um, so there we go. Um, if it's a big TAF and it scrolls down, you can, you can scroll it up, uh, uh, and same for Metars. Um, so this note, this meta is from a different location, um, and uh, that's that's you know, normal. Um, the TAFs are obtained from your current location, so the closest meta and the closest TAF to your current location. If you hit the refresh button, it will refresh that, and um, not in this case, it's not going to change it because that that meta is the latest meta. Uh, if we refresh the TAF. Um, same there it was no update obviously if the TAF or meta is updated and you hit the refresh button the latest one will get shown to you if you aren't a premium member subscriber um the weather radar page defaults to the the wettest location in the world which apparently according to google is somewhere in india so i've defaulted it out there so to give you a good indication of how the weather radar works and if uh if you're not a premium subscriber for TAF and metas um, it will give you a list of about 10 or so fairly large airports that I've picked around the world. Uh, the, and you can cycle through them using the refresh button just to see and understand how they work. Um, the weather instrument has been majorly updated at the end of 2023. Uh, it used to be just this instrument on, uh, on this page here. We've added the weather, virtual weather radar. We've added the TAF. We've added the meta and the refresh buttons. Um, so you can see um, it fits in nicely. You can have uh, two instruments up. You've got one instrument up showing the basic weather. You've got another instrument showing, in this case, the TAF, where you could show the weather radar should you so wish. Um, it's hopefully a really nice upgrade that you'll enjoy. Um, please let me know if there's any improvements that you'd like to see me make on it. Other than that, thank you very much for listening. And that was the FTEC Weather Radar and Wind Instrument.